morning and welcome to the workshop. Uh, today's video will be a bit different than just the uh, the normal cars racing round. Um, it's going to be an informative video. Uh, it'll be uh, something based on a lot of questions I get asked about the GSXS and GSXR engine. Um, as you know, we run the GSXR or GSXS hybrid. So it runs the GSXS bottom end with the GSXR cylinder head. Today I'm going to run through the differences I found um, and what you can swap in and out between the two engines to make your S closer to an R. Uh, so yeah, we'll go through that um, and uh, hopefully it will be all very informative. So let's get started. So exterior wise, we'll, um, we'll have a quick look at the engine. Um, this is an S engine. There's a few differences between the S and the R. Um, the S is probably more closely related to the K8, the K7, K8. Um, but for a few of the external differences, you have the timing cover here, which is a lot, lot larger. The starter motor sits across a bit more. The mount points on the starter motor are in a different place to the K8. Um, so that's one of the first differences. Uh, I've got a K1 over here, which uses the same cover and it is much, much narrower um, across the bottom here and here. So yes, there is, um, there is that difference there for starters. The GSXS also uses a water-cooled oil cool system. So has separate pipes that run round to the water pump, which again is different from the GSXR. Um, it has the extra outlets, whereas the GSXR one does not. Um, and then you have the, this one's running a GSXR stator cover because the engine or this engine that I picked up is, um, had, uh, had been dropped and the external casing had been damaged. But this is a 2021 GSXS. It looks exactly the same as the 2015 GSXS apart from the cam chain tensioner, which is a different type. Um, the, it, um, on the early ones it is the same as the k8 so from 2015 to 2020 it should be, it should match a k8 tensioner so yeah that's a quick walk around the outside um, externally they look very very similar apart from the oil cooled and the and the starter system but apart from that it's fairly close um, the mounts are the same position as you would find in a k8 so again, um, yeah, externally, it's, it's fairly similar. Um, we'll move on to the internals. Uh, oh, well, one thing on the external side, the K8 has the cam sensor in the top here. The GSX-S's do not, the casings don't. Uh, the marking's there, but it's not actually used. So, um, and there is no lobe on, or no uh, pin on the camshaft. There is a quick one which I am going to add um, in regards to the S and the differences between S engines. The This is one that I had, uh, unfortunately the engine sadly was uh, uh, unusable again. So uh, I pulled it out of the scrap bin just to demonstrate. But the 2015-2016 uh, the version did not have these holes. Ooh, he's trying to fit a foam through. These holes bored in the block. Um, so what they found was once they bored the extra, the holes through it, um, like they did with the K3 and K4, um, they found it, it, it just balanced everything up a bit better. Um, and I think it worked out at closer to about 10 horsepower with all the additional mods. So yeah, that's, but the S blocks are pretty much identical from, from 2017 up to what appears 2021. So yeah, here in front of us, we've got a GSXS gear set. Um, it's identical to the K8, same ratios. Um, I've fitted the earlier boxes into uh, the GSXS casing. So I fitted a K1 to K4 gearbox in um, and everything pretty much bolts up without any, any problems. So the gear sets are transferable between the S and the R, um, certainly the 2008 R. And uh, yeah, it's the same ratios. So that's quite handy if you ever have a gearbox failure. Um, thankfully, we've only incur incurred our first gearbox issues, um, proper issues this season. So this gear set will go on to live on in the yellow car now. Um, 
Um, but yeah, it's grateful that the parts are interchangeable. Uh, yeah, moving on to uh, the crankshaft. So the GSXS is crankshaft is stamped a 41G. If I can, he says 41G. Um, now, this is the same uh, part number or same order number when you order it again through Suzuki as the GSXR K8 crankshaft. So yeah, the GSXS and the GSXR use the same crankshaft. Um, so really handy if you have a crankshaft failure, um, you can pick yourself up a GSXS and uh, and you can swap the cranks, which is really, really handy. Um, and it's also good news that they are still making new crankshafts for this current generation of engines. So moving backwards a little bit um, to the clutch. Now, this is the brand new 2021 style clutch um which is the three bolts now the first version of the gsxs the 2015 2016 had your original basic clutch no slipper functions the 2017 to 2020 had the same slipper clutch or same style slipper clutch that's in the k5 to k8 uh, and this one is a brand new one which I haven't had the pleasure of taking apart yet but um, this clutch will be swapped out for us our, our competition slipper clutch uh, when this engine goes back together. So this is, uh, yeah, this is the new type of clutch. Um, but yes, it, again, it very, it's very, it's all the same stuff as the GSXR K8. So these parts are interchangeable. I have fitted a K1 clutch into a GSXS and had absolutely no problems whatsoever. So onto the pistons and rods. Um, now, one of the great things with the S and the R exactly the same stroke and exactly the same bore and because it uses a k8 crankshaft the rod ends are exactly the same on the big ends um, the little ends are different um, but what you'll find is if you're swapping it you are swapping the whole rod and piston um, it's just a better better swap um, now the gsxs rods uh, identification 04k again same as the K8, same as the crankshaft, 41G for the GSXR rods. So you can count, you can tell the difference. Um, the S rods, from conversations I've had, are good to about 200 horsepower. Um, but then after that, they kind of become a bit more fragile, uh, which you would expect from a thinner rod. It is a thinner rod. Um, I think the overall assembly is about 10 grams lighter between the two. Um, but the GSXR rod is, is a bit more meaty and from my, my understanding they will go to about 250. Um, but as with anything, do not quote the figures. Um, I can be wrong and everybody else can be wrong. So, um, but yes, when it comes to it, yes, you can swap the GSXR pistons and rods straight into a GSXS. Yeah, so the GSXR and GSXS both use the uh, same head gasket. So, but let's talk about heads, shall we? Um, now, the front head is a GSXR K8. The rear head is a GSXS. Um, now, everything is identical, pretty much. Um, I mean, this K8 has had porting, and this GSXS head will have porting, but everything is identical all the way down so the the valve oil seals everything um all the part numbers are shared so um yeah the heads are nigh on identical um a lot of the difference in the heads is actually to do with the valves and the valve springs so this here this one here is a gsxs valve spring and spring retainer if I can get that there. And this is a GSXR valve spring and retainer. So you can see that the GSXR spring is quite a bit heavier duty. And you can also see the retainer is quite thin on the S. The GSXR one, much, much thicker. Um, and they reckon that the, the valve springs on the S is probably good to about 12 and a half. Um, but again, a known failure when you try and push it to the same sort of level as a GSXR. Um, the GSXR springs 13,000 
um, we run regularly and we don't tend to have a problem with them. Um, the other difference is actually the valves. So, uh, oh, that's a GSXS valve, steel. And then, hopefully this is the right one, GSXR runs the titanium valves. Um, but both valves are identical in height. Um, so, yeah, and you can swap the valves out. Uh, one of the common swaps is putting GSXR valves in um, and fitting the GSXR valve springs and retainers. And then the head should be um, exactly the same as a K8. The outlets on the back of the head between the K8 and the S are exactly the same. Uh, and the cam retainers are exactly the same. So there's quite a lot of bits head-wise that you can swap, but it's preferred to keep them as matched pairs. So um, this one here, when it's done, will have its original cam carriers to go with it. And uh, yeah, hopefully it'll all be uh, it'll all be spot on. So one small difference with the uh, with this new S um, compared to the older S that I've got. Um, the rubber inlets on this S seem to be smaller. So whilst the throttle bodies do line up, it, the actual throttle bodies themselves don't fit in. Um, but you can transfer the GSXR ones across um, and they will just bolt straight into the, into the place. These seem to have been reduced quite a bit. Uh, I'm assuming that's for the later engines. Like I said, the last engine we had, I ended up retaining these <coughs> and uh, and the throttle bodies fitted straight in. So, uh, yeah, again, another little change. Swap those over and you can fit bigger throttle bodies on it, which is, uh, which is great, great news. So the last little bit is the camshafts. I mentioned earlier that there is no pin on the GSXS, but because it's all standard fitment, um, you can fit a standard set of K5, K6 cams straight in. Um, I've done it uh, and um, yeah, it works perfectly fine. What I normally do is because I run all GSXR management, I swap the cam cover over for a GSXR one, which bolts straight up. All these mount holes line up exactly the same as the GSXR. So yes, with a bit of work, you can swap the GSXR rods, the pistons, the cams, the valves, and the valve spring, valve spring retainers. And you can bring a GSXS pretty much close to a factory GSXR without a great deal of, of work. It is a little bit, but it's not a massive amount. Um, okay, yes, it does involve tearing the engine down, but you can essentially make a new K8 with these parts, uh, which is great as K8s are now becoming a bit of a rarity. The GSXS carries it on. Um, there is, like I said, there is a little bit of packaging difference with the, um, with the starter system. The new GSXSs have a push-pull sensor actually on the gear change at the back of the engine, um, whereas the early ones don't. Um, the more modern ones, there is a, there's an awful lot more stuff packed onto them. Um, but if you can get your hands on a 2017 to 2020 engine, you're pretty much laughing. There is a lot you can do to bring the power right up to GSXR power without, without doing too much. So that's kind of, uh, that's kind of the differences. Um, I hope that it's useful information. Um, so yeah, and uh, hopefully it has answered quite a lot of people's questions. Uh, yeah, now back to me. Um, so for this year, uh, or for next year, sorry, because it is next year, um, I will be using this 2021 engine. Um, <clears throat> I will be building this up as a GSXR. So there's a couple of new things that I'm gonna probably learn about this engine, um, but the majority of it is exactly the same as all previous S's. So yeah, 
this one will be our new race engine for 2025. Um, it will have all GSXR stuff inside it. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to squeeze uh, a bit more power. There's a few more mods that I'm going to do. Um, so the S head will be ported. It's, this is gonna be the first time I'm gonna be using a GSX S head. Um, normally I use the GSXR heads. Um, and, but seeing as the most recent lot of GSX S heads that have been used haven't had any issues um, from people that I've spoken to, uh, I will be going full GSXR on this GSXS head. Uh, so, yeah, looking forward to it. Um, and we'll see how things progress. But thank you very much for taking the time to watch the video. If you got to the end, thank you very much. Um, and, um, yeah, like I said, this is just from my observation and from things I've found and from information I've had passed on. I may not be 100% correct, but... Um, everything that I've tried and done so far has worked. Uh, so thank you again for watching and hopefully uh, there may be some more tech videos or inf information videos coming up. Uh, we'll see, but thank you again.